creating art over a long period of time kind of is like playing chess with yourself. Anticipating moves and seeing variation and seeing possibility, seeing expression and little nuances. And when you've been making art for a long time, you set up a structure of problems that you're interested in answering, and that ultimately becomes your expression. Just like I would say any researcher does, finding their own way of working. My name is Joseph Wardwell. I'm an associate professor at Brandeis University. I teach painting and drawing. I teach drawing under the influence, which is an intro drawing class. And I teach painting Sienna, which is part of our Brandeis and Sienna program, which I helped start in 2015. I work with a lot of students who have an interest in art but are studying something else and I also work with a lot of students that have an interest in becoming an artist. Oftentimes in their senior year I'll have known a student for two three years and to be able to have that personal connection of watching them develop over a substantial amount of time really helps build a dialogue when they're in their studios trying to create their individual expression and to create momentum in their body of work, to really get to know that student, that's an incredibly valuable thing that you find in liberal arts universities where you have an intense art program, which I think is something that's great about Brandeis. If you take an abstract painting, a landscape painting and text painting and you mash them together like a sandwich, that's what my work is like. Think of my painting as dealing with sort of what it means to be American, the myths of American culture. As far as like holding my artwork up to my students, I just try to convey the fact that I create something that's incredibly laborious and that's kind of like the measure I hold myself that I hope that students see that I create something very, very demanding. The one thing that is important to remember is that it's all about the long game. Higher ed, getting a job, all those kind of like societal pressures that we feel. That the beauty I see in making art over a long period of time is seeing all those kind of ups and downs of societal structure, but then your constant being expression and to really be able to see how important on a consistent basis art is to our culture. Think of the early cave paintings. Why did the people start making art in the first place? Basically to say, you know, dip your hand in paint, put it on the rock. And it's like, I'm here, I'm here, I exist. And that's just as important to express today as it was back then. That's like core to the human experience.